Well, to some extent, when we look at uh, look at Israel, you keep hearing the same story. How can Israel run the United States because it's such a little country? And then we look at the power of the APAC lobby and the fact that 400 members of Congress, House and Senate, will do anything they say. Uh, we wonder why that is. Then we look at uh, new American laws. Uh, the Supreme Court decision with Citizen United that lets money be just shipped into the U.S. to any single district um, during elections. Any member of Congress can be removed by a, a massive flood of money that comes in, and, and this is being done. And the source of this money, because of people involved in APAC that are with organized crime that run gambling, organ theft, prostitution, who launder drug money, who sell illegal arms, and have actually traded, and we have proof of this, who have traded in illegal uh, nuclear weapons, have sold nuclear weapons to North Korea. The profit from this actually bribes members of America's government. Uh, Britain, it's exactly the same way. You know, if you look at the world here, you wonder why APAC or the Israel lobby would have so much power that they could uh, dictate U.S. policy on Iran. Uh, all you have to look at is that the decision makers in the governments around the world, there are fewer than 1,000 people. And we have, we frankly in the U.S. lose at least a trillion dollars a year that's stolen. Around the world, it's far more than that. Buying this thousand politicians they're, they're, they're very inexpensive. So if you can have the nuclear arsenal of the United States or the British Army, as pitiful as it is, on your side by paying off uh, a few ministers or buying a petty thug like uh, Tony Blair or, in this case, John McCain or other criminal elements within the governments of the world, uh, it's easy to do. Buying governments is cheap. It's because the people that go into government are the dimmest, the worst, the most immoral, the most despicable people in our nations. You know, there are so very few great leaders in this world. And it isn't just Netanyahu that's a uh, buffoon who... Uh, openly uh, flouts uh, uh, world convention, openly violates uh, international laws, is openly a war criminal. It's not just him, and it isn't just the Jewish people or the Israeli people. It goes on everywhere. It's really organized crime. It's not even, you can't even call it APAC. APAC is one of several front organizations for a large organized crime conspiracy, and one of their targets is to make sure that U.S. relations with Iran are kept the way they are because it helps them financially. The whole thing is a con.